used a Dequinder cut uh, bike path, but much better used as a skateboard path. Yeah. We got a solid like five or six mile run ride. or ride. Solid. I would stand on a board and let it solid. mush you around. <laughs> Okay, a uh, quick little announcement. If you've been following my videos for a while, remember months ago, I mentioned that I wanted to get some new t-shirts made, and it just hasn't been a priority. I've been so busy with travel and new things going on with the company, all fun stuff, but the t-shirts have totally fell by the wayside, but I finally have some new things coming together that I wanted to share with you. Um, I have two t-shirts and more on the way. If you are following me on Instagram, you've already seen them, but I wanted to make sure to show them here in the vlog. So first off, we've got simple v-neck. Uh, there's really nothing to say about this other than I took my logo and put it on a v-neck. Because I like v-necks. I just, I don't know, I think they fit better. It's a little more interesting than a standard t-shirt. So, drip logo on a v-neck. That's, that's it. There's a few different colors. I kind of like the black on gray. Nothing on the back. And now I've got one more for you. Now this, this one's a little bit more interesting, I think. So, my buddy Zorro. He drew this up. Actually, when we were together in Las Vegas for one of our quad camp events, we had pizza and we were doodling on the, uh, the, the pizza box. He drew this kind of graffiti style stacked letter of my name and had this little bird on it. I'm like, dude, I want to get that on a t-shirt. So months later, here we have it. Those are the two shirts that I have. I actually have more on the way from other artists um you know i mean i really like the the simple v-neck and all just because i like simple v-necks but i'm more excited about um trying to collaborate with the other artists in the community so yeah we started off with a zorro design i mentioned previously that i wanted to do something with miss creature and i have i do have a design from her it's just about ready maybe it'll even be up for sale by the time this video goes live but i just don't have one to model for you in this in this video but yeah more t-shirts on the way if if this is the sort of thing that you're into i'll probably be more up to date about that on my Instagram, just a little more insta tania. <laughs> Thanks for checking out my new shirts. Uh, let's let's carry on with the day. Oh, All right, God. we're just getting down. Did you don't lock us yeah, out? I, I locked <laughs> out without keys, though. We just got down to the city. My buddy Drew just got himself a new lock. Look how cool like this doorway is. It's just like, oh man, are you kidding me? This is your new place. What are you? This is amazing, guys. Look at this. I mean, you need to move in a little bit, but. Oh, yeah, you need to move in a lot. Look at all this space. You might say, there's so many room for activity. Do you, do you ride in here? I'll go first again. Ah. And there's a ping pong table. You know? This is the only reason I've been friends with you for so long, is I knew one day.
All right. Your new loft has officially been christened with Woo-hoo. some boopage micro drone action. Uh, I think that's my new favorite place to tiny whoop ever. You're always welcome. I don't, listen, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did both a power loop and a Matty flip with a tiny whoop. That's, uh, yeah, I've been trying to get those for a while. I haven't, I haven't had luck. Power loops, especially the Matty flip was actually easier. I don't think I've really tried that before. And I ended up getting a first try. The power loops, I, I crashed a lot trying to get those. <laughs> So, did you say this burger place is just a Pulp Fiction reference? I don't. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Royale with cheese. Yeah. That's the thing. It's, uh, the metric systems because of that. What is that? Another movie reference? Yeah. I Sorry. don't know these things. You know what your audience will. <laughs> Look, I found an Ashley. <laughs> we Yay! are about to get on a boat. Look at that. Wait, where is it? Right, right. Did you notice it has a half pipe on it? That's that's sick. It's sick. There's a half pipe on this yeah. boat, and we're gonna go for a little uh, little cruise and check out the skate demo. We are officially setting sail, well I guess not technically sail, but we are moving. Alright, this event is called Cruise for the Culture. We are on the Detroit Princess, which is a boat that they've got down here and listen it's it's like kind of a mission of mine to show the other awesome stuff that's going on in Detroit other than just the abandoned buildings that I usually hang out in to do uh, FPV freestyle and all that stuff and dude I've been slacking I've been slacking just been busy with travel and all that stuff but uh, I thought I'd just hit it back in a big way Ashley found out about this event and it is awesome so thanks Ashley cuz yeah half pipe on a boat um, drinks, food, hanging out, cool people, and check this out. Can you hear me even? I'm sorry if the wind noise is horrible, but let's go inside for a second. Oh, all right, yeah, so in here, oh, it's a little, a little darker. They've, uh, they've got like a whole art gallery set up, so more stuff that's like skateboard, BMX, urban themed, really cool. I think this one is my favorite. All right, guys, that is pretty much a wrap. Solid day. Awesome, awesome little boat cruise thing. Thanks for finding out about that. Yeah. The bomb. No worries. Uh, wait, come on. You're oh, leaving God. me hanging. What? Oh. What are you?